Module 4, Lesson 15. Objective, multiply non-unit fractions by non-unit fractions. Here we start with 2 thirds of 3 fifths with the instruction to draw a model to explain our thinking and also to write an equation. So we will, just as we were working with unit fractions, we will start with a rectangle representing one, or one whole. We'll look at three-fifths first because we're taking two-thirds of three-fifths, and we'll model the three-fifths first by drawing four lines. And then in this case, we're looking at three-fifths. So we will shade in three out of these five. And we will also label it. So there, within that rectangle, and within the model, I have modeled three-fifths. However, this expression here is saying two-thirds of three-fifths, or two-thirds of three-fifths. So we will make horizontal lines to divide the three-fifths into thirds in this case because we want two-thirds of it. So we draw two lines to divide it into three parts. In this case this says two-thirds, so we are looking at two thirds of the three-fifths. And then that's why this is two-thirds there. Now if we look at our model, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's six out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So the answer, according to our model, is 6 fifteenths. If we reduce that, we get 2 fifths. It does say to write an equation as well. So 2 thirds of 3 fifths would be 2 thirds times 3 fifths, which is equal to 2 times 3 over 3 times 5, we can cancel the threes, which will become ones, so we are left with two-fifths. So two-thirds of three-fifths does equal two-fifths. And so we explained it not only with a model that was properly labeled, but we also explained it with an equation. Here I have another problem, 2 fifths times 7 tenths. Here the instructions just say to multiply. Now of course I could draw an area model if it helped me. In this case it would go 2 fifths times 7 tenths. I would model 7 tenths first and then take 2 fifths of it. So. Let me go ahead and divide this into 10 parts. And then we'll be looking at 7 of those parts. For 7 tenths. And then I'll shade those in so that you can see that we're looking at 7 of those tenths. Next, it does say that it's 2 fifths of... 7 tenths, and actually it doesn't say 2 fifths of 7 tenths, but it does say 2 fifths times 7 tenths. So we will look now at 2 fifths of that shaded in area. And in doing so, we'll draw horizontal lines within our model for them. 
so that we're dividing it into five parts. But it says to only look at two-fifths of those. So there is one-fifth, and there is the other two-fifths. And I will label that as well. Counting them up, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That would be 14 then. And then the denominator would be 10 by 5, which is 10 times 5, which would be 50. I can simplify that or reduce it to 7 25ths. Let's see if the equation, when we multiply that, is the same, which it should be. 2 fifths times 7 tenths, we multiply the numerators, which is 2 times 7, which is 14. Then in the denominators, we take 5 times 10, which is 50. That is what we got before before we simplified it is, that is. And as you see, we do get that same answer. Read the whole equation with me. Two-fifths times seven-tenths equals seven-twenty-fifths. Remember when we are multiplying fractions, just as if we were adding or subtracting them or dividing them, we must express our answer in simplest form. Okay, it's your turn to try. Multiply. Draw a model to explain your thinking. So do start with a model and make sure to label it as well. Did you model three-fifths first? Did you remember to label it, as well as shade it in? After modeling three-fifths, you could and should take four-fifths of it. So you should have divided horizontally into fifths and then looked at four-fifths of that. Counting them up, that is 3 by 4, which would be 12 total. And our denominator would be 25, because this is 5 by 5. And 12 25ths is in simplest form. Also write out an equation, if you did not do so already, just so that you are making sure that you're looking over your work and that you're checking it and solving it in multiple ways and understand the process. Four times three is 12 and five times five is 25. So the whole equation is four fifths times three fifths equaling 12 25ths. So four fifths of three fifths does equal 12 25ths shown with my model and then also with an equation. Let me show you three last problems. Here we're going to multiply. And then in this case, we're not going to use area models. We have 2 thirds times 4 sevenths. That would be 2 times 4 in the numerator and 3 times 7 in the denominator. Neither of these numbers are divisible by 3 or 7, and then so we are not able to cancel anything, so we just do our multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 7 is 21, and so 2 thirds times 4 sevenths does equal 8 21sts. That already is in simplest form. Continuing with our second problem here, we have 3 fifths times 10 twentieths, and in this case, we have 3 times 10 over 5 times 20. We can see we can cancel the 10 for it to become a 1. 
because we can divide by 10 in the numerator. 20 divided by 10 is 2. So we are left with 3 times 1, which is 3 in the numerator, and 5 times 2, which is 10. Now if we had just multiplied 3 times 10, we would have gotten 30, and 5 times 20 is 100, and then we would have recognized that it was not in simplest form, and then we would have had to have done our work to express our answer in simplest form. For the final problem, we have 9 twelfths times 2 thirds. And in order to solve that, let's go ahead and put this all within one fraction, 9 times 2 in the numerator and 12 times 3 in the denominator. We can cancel the 3 for it to become a 1, then the 9 would become a 3. We could cancel again, the 3 becoming a 1 and the 12 becoming a 4. And then we've already done our simplification process of 1 times 2 is 2 and 4 times 1 is 4, or at least most of our simplification process. Divided by 2, divided by 2 equals 1 half. Your turn. Multiply. Remember to express answers in simplest form. Pause that video while you solve these. Did you show all your steps here? 3 times 3 over 5 times 8, which would equal 9 fortieths. And 9 fortieths is already in simplest form. For the second one, it would be 2 times 5 over 3 times 6. Did you cancel to be able to solve? 1 times 5 is 5. 3 times 3 is 9. Remember, when you're multiplying, to express answers in simplest form. This equation here is 2 thirds times 5 sixths which equals 5 ninths.